conversation. Let me put this down. Uh -huh. We continue our session. We had a nice, maybe an hour. Um, Margie, would you would you tell your oh the microphone is we are talking to that microphone now. So you will have to speak a little louder, but it's okay. Is Rick all right being here? All right. I'll do a little bunging. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, oh, you should let her tell her story first. Yes. yes. Other way around. Okay. <laughs> uh, tell your tell your uh, experience. How long of a version do you want? <laughs> uh, about six minutes. Six, six to seven. Minutes. Well, okay. All right. It's um getting close to midnight, 1974. I was living um, with someone out in Wayne County, and he worked the midnight to eight shift uh, at a construction site. And um, he didn't have a car, so I was, uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I was taking him to the site <coughs> for work in the Macedon area, and uh, um, well, we were we were on. There's some pretty rural roads there. We were on one called Quaker Road and there's hills there so we're just rounding uh, this hill and straight ahead I don't know maybe 30, 50 feet up there's this UFO hovering over the road and it's got um, red, green, and white lights that are rotating and flashing around it. And I'm like, <laughs> and you know, it's kind of like, do you see what I see? And so we decided to pull over and just watch it. And it slowly, um, we were we were headed um, west, and it it was going west too, and it was so it was just slowly going further west, and I saw it. It was low enough so it disappeared over the next hill, <coughs> and I thought, wow. But so. What I thought, well, I, I guess this happened next. Um, I kind of wanted to go and see if I could find, I thought it must have landed, you know, because I didn't see it anymore. Um, and, well, what happened was uh, we, f we finished taking my friend to work and then, I don't know, I didn't think I was brave enough to go and just look for this thing all by myself. <laughs> so I thought that I simply went back home to bed. But um, I was in a UFO study group uh, some years after this, mm -hmm. and uh, the the head of that group uh, connected with uh, a hypnotist in Buffalo, and there were an, a number of other people that also had experiences. And well, I'm sure you've heard of the phenomenon of missing time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he was pretty sure that I had some missing time. Mm -hmm. um, Anyway, so when I was hypnotized, uh, 
the rest of this came out that I actually did drive, I drove back pretty much the same way, mm -hmm. but the, the UFO had come back to where pretty much we'd originally seen it mm -hmm. and landed in the farmer's field. <coughs> mm -hmm. And I turned down this road in the field, parked my old car, and there they were. And the, the door was open, the, uh, this big door that kind of like, what is it, a uh, um, hatch like? Yeah, like one of those fancy cars, the door goes up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there was a really blinding light coming out of it, mm -hmm. but it wasn't like normal light. Mm -hmm. It didn't like light everything up. It only like went so far. Oh, and, cool. And um, there were, I think there were two tall beings and, and one of the shorter ones that were just standing out there mm -hmm. in the field. Wow. And um, that's so cool. Uh, yeah. Were the tall ones the greys or the Pleiadians? Oh, what color were they? I don't. Do you remember the color? They weren't grey, grey. No, some of them were silver grey. They were, I don't know, kind of like beige colored. Okay, yeah. But were they humans or more like greys? No, they, they didn't look human. They're really skinny. Oh. Mm -hmm. That would be the gray look, yeah. Well, most likely. Yeah. And the tall one, was he skinny, real skinny too, or? Yeah, they, they were both pretty skinny. They were two different species, I think. And, and the short one was definitely different. Yeah. What size of heads did they have? Did they have one of those <coughs> sort of heart-shaped heads? Um, or human size heads or big round heads? Well, the short one had a, a sort of larger head, you know. Yeah. It, it, um, the tall ones just had fairly oval shaped tongues. <coughs> okay. Cool. Excellent. That's cool. So, was it the, the experience when you saw the aliens? Is it? after hypnotic regression? Yeah. So you kind of described it in words or you were actually were able to see the event? Oh, I definitely like saw it. So you did the hypnotic regression, in the regression you saw the event? Mm -hmm. Oh. Was that as far as it went? That time, yes. Oh, there was another one. There was another time. Now this, this seemed like really more far out, um, mm -hmm. where I described getting in with them and going on a little ride. Oh, cool. Uh -huh. That must have been very cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I even believed myself. Yeah. Cool. Where did you go? Another planet. Uh huh. It was a very advanced looking city. Okay. Sort of scape. Was it um, the planet have city like all over it? Well, we didn't go all over, but everything I could see was like all no, over. That it. sounds like Pleiadian era. That sounds like era. I'm trying with a question and try not to put suggestions in there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you so great. It was era. I'm trying to cast the open-ended questions. Right? Yeah. So, were the beings uh, human looking or otherwise? N not human, no, otherwise. So what was different? Well, the, the, the little one kind of reminded me of like the, um, well, not quite like the movie E.T., 
but um, of that genre in a way. Yeah, cool. But it, you know, the beings on the planet, people on the planet, planet. what are they human looking or otherwise? I don't recall seeing any on the planet. Oh. Just, just. Did you walk on it? No, it just seems like we went and, you know, I got this impression of the city and, and that was that. Uh, what city would it, like, what is different from human cities? So it's like from looking from airplane and the city, what would be the difference? It was just, um, it's like there weren't streets. It was just tall, different shaped buildings they everywhere. Yeah. They don't need streets there. They just move from building to building with different <laughs> kinds of transportation. <laughs> they don't need to be, they don't have to have cars or any kinds of. Did you see any movement? They can move from Did building to building? building to state to state just no. by transporter. Mm. What? Vibrate. The There's so many different kinds of transporters out there. Oh. Building with windows? <laughs> I'm learning about that. I mean, that's teleportation. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like I got uh, that detail. Were there plants? Wildlife? Uh, it, this, was it where I was, was mm -hmm. just solid city. Mm -hmm. All right, let's then ask them what they, what they think. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they will get some answers, maybe we'll have something else. Okay. <coughs> she likes being with us. There's a good energy here.
am Peter. Hey, Peter. It's nice to have you. Thanks for coming through. Yes. How are you? There is much going on. Mm -hmm. Tasks at hand are many. You now have a, a job and you're working hard. Yes. What do you do? If you can, if you can tell. I help others that are hybrids that are in outer space to become more acquainted with their properties of being and their surroundings. Which hybrids? Would it be Pleiadian human? They are Pleiadian, Yigil, and even some reptilian. Mm -hmm. But I get them oriented to Aran culture and Aran ways of life. Are you, so you're doing it face to face, they arrive to air and you help them orient? I do this one on one mm -hmm. for <coughs> many, for hours a day. So there, are, there is a program bringing the, the hybrids to air? Yes, because I have become established. Wonderful. I explain to them the cultural differences between where they have come from, what they have experienced, and what they are to experience on this planet. They must come here at least for some time to experience ERA so that they may know how to interact on other planets as well. Um, I had a, do they have any message for today? No, I have just come to visit. Wonderful, it's nice to have you. Is there any way I can help you with advice or anything? You have been nice much already with your videos. You have taught me earth culture in some forms. And you have taught me earth emotions that do not exist entirely on these worlds. Some forms of jealousy do not exist. Some forms of, what is the term, hatred, mm -hmm. do not exist. Uh, are you aware of the Karaya? Zachariah, yes. He's about your age. How old are you now? I am 15. And he is about one year older. Yes. I suggest you meet him. I have. Oh, you have? I have visited him in his element when you were speaking to him uh -huh. to observe and understand what he brings to the education of your world. Why is his description of air so different from uh, what we get through other through Jim? There are different places in Era. He's not been all over Era. Era has many different places. Jim sees one side of Era from one alien being. He sees another side of Era from another alien being. Uh, in they the, are not the same. In the Karais story, there is a slavery on there. Uh, reptilians are in control, and there is a civil war going on in there. This is true on part of this planet. They do not speak of it much because they do not want to be associated with any negative properties. Ah. The side that I am on is not at war, it is at peace, and the side that they are on does have reptilian influence that is negative. But it will not last. So there is no slavery on your side? Not on my side, no. What's the name of the side, if you can tell? It's a continent that is different from the others. Yes. All right, that's fine. Uh, so it is in our timeline. It's parallel. It is not in your timeline, no. Is it in the future? It is slightly off your timeline by three quarters of a second. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, that's okay, we can leave it there. But it is parallel time, basically. We, uh, we, you are in the same time, basically. You yes. are synchronized to us, more or less. It is synchronized, but there are differences in how that three quarters of a second can be 
play on the senses and visual. I had an experiment, experiment to do with you. Do you understand Russian? I'm not allowed to speak with you in any other language but the one that I am speaking in now. I understand. Uh, but if I say to you something in Russian, would you be able to understand it? I would be able, but not to reply. Can you reply in English? I will ask. There will be a time when I will be able to reply, but not now. Even in English? Not in English, not at all. There is a reason for this. Okay. Uh, but you do understand Russian? Yes. Uh, I have a friend who is no longer with us. Uh, his name is Mark Rosenberg. Yes. And he speaks Russian and very poor English. Yes. <coughs> Can you speak to him and connect me to him and translate, be an interpreter in this way, to his spirit? One moment. He is a spirit guide. Yeah. It is not easy to connect with his spirit when it is involved with a human. That's but okay. I am able to connect with him in a superficial sense, and yes, I will be able to interpret. It will take more time than usual, but it can be done. So his family is now in sad moods. His son is, uh, has trouble with job and his wife is very sad that he left, that Mark left. Does he have any message or any words to encourage them? <clears throat> he is aware of these things and mm -hmm. is trying to speak to his wife's spirit guides uh -huh. so that they will be comforting to her. Uh-huh. One moment. There is no need for sorrow in her. He is with her always in some ways. But she does not understand the way of the spirit. He will send someone to comfort her. Uh-huh. His son. They must ground themselves in these in the earth ways and not be caught up in the emotions around them to the sense that they are suffering in their positions as humans. They must find their perfection within. They are not grounded. They are above where they should be in the sense that they move toward his spirit. And he senses this. He would prefer they be grounded and not wanting to see him at this time. His son has a problem also with his family, uh, son and wife. Uh, and it's very mysterious, mysterious what is happening. Is there any revelation which Mark can see from other side? What's happening there? Why is it so distorted, the family? This is because of he's a, they are not grounded. They, might, they are taking actions that make no sense for them. Thank you. Uh, they send him love, and uh, it's so nice to Tell see him. Again that the thoughts that he are, ha are having outside the, of the realm of, of the family and work are not making sense to him and therefore to not dwell on them because they were pulling him out of his reality. Thank you. This is all. Oh. Some 
someone else is coming. Okay, nice to have you. Thank you. I'm missing you, Peter. Are you missing contact with you? Send more video. Oh, do do. The children of yours must be growing. I would like to see their progress. Oh, Michael makes huge steps forward. He's now reading and reading fast. Yes. In very short time, he just switched from no reading to reading. And he is very smart. He is a genius. Yes. <laughs> he now programs things like he's six old year old, and he programs automated things in uh, Minecraft. And um, these are these are doing interesting autom automatic things. He is an indigo child. Oh, sure. Sure. And he gives me a lot of trouble. <laughs> an indigo child will give you. So I'm thinking about getting a job and anywhere in, in, in the world mm -hmm. and, uh, and move. And my question would be, uh, should I bring my family with myself? Or should I just go and travel back and forth? Do you have any clue what would be the best strategy? First, you must get the job. That's right. <laughs> the way to speak to this man Make sure you have a business plan ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Make sure you speak distinctly. Mm -hmm. Make sure that when you listen to him, if you have any question of what he is saying, you must ask that he is saying what you think. Repeat what he says. Are you saying this? Mm -hmm. Be very remote in your friendliness. Okay. He is looking for your business aspect. Mm -hmm. He may appear very friendly, but from you he wants something else. Mm -hmm. You may smile, but be detached. Good advice. He may have trouble understanding your accent. Yes, I know. Thank you for explaining. He is very analytical, and you must proceed in an analytical way. Good. He's looking for your intellectual and emotional IQ. You must be very aware. Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye, thank you. sessions. Um, con now you can contact and pay to him directly through the site. There is a private sessions uh, uh, page on the site, so that is easy. There is an email for Jim, there is Skype ID, and a uh, yes. payment button for Jim. Don't be worried. I, I have three set up for this week, but that's it. So I have plenty of time if anybody wants to uh, Skype or even just do a phone message or whatever. So. Yes. They, people were finding them very, 
very good. They're really. I have several repeat people. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, people that want to have more questions. So they come back. As a guy had his first uh, <clears throat> paid session, and he received few donations, and that makes a huge difference. Now, yes. in my court, I'm I'm busy with all the all other stuff, so I'm kind of doing more mainstream stuff than uh, videos. But I, I will. I, I'm planning on another session with Zechariah. Okay. Uh, we are working on a plan for a video. It's another thing. Uh, Chris. Chris. Is, yes, working on a plan for a video. Uh, that's an interesting project, and that's about every, all announcement. I yes, think. that's all. Right. Thank you so much for all the the people that are supporting us. We really appreciate it. It's wonderful. You guys make us feel really good. So thank you very much. So and now as I list, am I less involved in the site? Uh, the ball is in your court. Uh, <coughs> please be organized. Uh, we have a lot of admins and helpers there. Uh, take initiative and uh, make it uh, alive and uh, vivid and uh, <coughs> use it for best, basically. Yeah. We have an advice to connect to each other. That's a tool which we use. Do your own videos and post on the site. and. Uh, uh, communicate, meet each other, and uh, create a community. I will be with you, but uh, on a uh, uh, smaller time per, per week basis. But uh, you know, we are connecting together now. There is five of us here, and <laughs> more important. So things are happening. Um, yes. Yeah. So uh, we pray for your well-being and uh, wish you happiness, no matter what. Thank you. We pray for you. We send out energy. Love you much. How about I do a little bit of drama just for the... <laughs> and thank you for your input. That was good. That was good. And thanks for being here. You guys, and for taking your time and being here. It's wonderful to see you. My pleasure.